Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix a uh, USB flash drive that's showing you the wrong size on the disk. That primarily happens uh, when the flash drive is used for uh, like backup purposes or if you've done an installation off it for like a Windows install where you have may use the tool like Rufus or anything of that nature. And sometimes what it will do, it will report the wrong size on the uh, USB file when you're done using it. Uh, if you have a drive like that, I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and get that fixed. Now, first thing is the precautionary note, follow the procedure this way, because if you do this wrong, you will end up uh, formatting either a backup drive or your you know primary drive. You know you will not be a happy camper so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the right one because you're going to need a disk number so you want to go ahead and hit the windows key along with the s key and you're going to type in disk management once you get this right up here you should be good to go that should be the spot where you want to go that may take a little bit to open up for you now once that's open up there's a spot where you're going to need to look to make sure that you get your right uh, information for the uh, for your drive now normally we're going to gaze up here do not do it from this spot you're going to go down here and in this case you're going to see i have uh, four discs and then the cd rom um, obviously you can't format that so what you want to do is look on here because when you do the steps i show you it's going to show you a disc number so you want to make sure you do the right one or you may inadvertently you know delete the wrong hard drive so here's what you do. So in my case, the disk drive is backup. I have it entitled backup. It's the F drive that I know for sure that that is my USB drive. So once you have that part, you know, and you're sure, so that is allocated to disk three. So you can leave that, you know, up and running, just minimize it to get it out the way, just so you have it there for a quick reference. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the Windows key again with the S. You're going to type in CMD. Now you're gonna to wanna to run this command prompt as administrator, so you're gonna double click on that. Once this opens up, you're gonna type in some commands. So the first thing you're gonna type in is disk part. That's short for disk partition, you're gonna hit enter. And then you're gonna type in list disk. You're gonna hit enter. And now it's gonna show you a list of the drives that you have on your computer. Uh, and hopefully they're all showing online. So now we know by what we did earlier that the disk I want to format is disk three. So now what we're going to do is hit select disk. And then you're going to type that in and then you're going to hit a space and the corresponding disk drive, which in my case is three. So for you, it's going to be different. Please remember to follow the steps that I showed you initially in the video so you don't end up erasing, uh, you know, a different drive. So once you have that, select the space disk, space the number of the drive. You're going to hit enter. Now it's going to let you know that that drive has been selected. Once that shows up, you're going to type in clean. And just to remember, I'm going to play it super safe and go ahead and open this window up again. So as you can see, if you want to double check before you do it, just go ahead and check in here again. And as you can see, the F drive is allocated number disk three. So that's the one we're going to clean. So we can jump back in here. Once you have the clean typed in, just go ahead and hit enter. Okay, once that's done, you're going to go ahead and type in create partition primary. Then once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and hit enter again. And now this part here, you're gonna tell it what type of uh, you know partition you want on it. Uh, the most used one is NTFS. You can do NTFS, you can do FAT32, or you can do EXFAT. And that you know that all depends on what uh, what you want it to be. So once that's done and you have that command up, we're going to go ahead and hit format or type in format. 
space FS equal sign MTFS quick and like I said if you want to do any of the other ones you would just type in uh, FS equals fat 32 or FS equals EX fat so whichever one you want to format to the type of petition you want so once that's done you're going to go ahead and hit enter again and it's going to show you that it's doing its thing here so it should be done fairly quick There you are. So once you see that message there, 100% completed, it should be formatted and back to normal. Once that comes up, you can just go ahead and type exit into the uh, command prompt window here. Hit enter. And it's now leaving. So once that's done, you can just go ahead and close it out. And now what you can do is just go back into your drive and you can make sure it is formatted. And as you can see, it is empty. Now, if you were having an issue, like I said, with the size showing up incorrectly, you can just double check by right clicking on it, hitting properties and make sure that it's actually showing the correct size of the drive, uh, which in my case, it is correct. So that is all good. So that's the way to fix it. If your USB uh, flash drive is showing the wrong size. And again, I will stress this again, make sure you follow the first steps here before you do via the command prompt. So that's it for this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. You have a good one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys soon.